Hello and welcome to Pro Music Creator, where we embrace the idea that we don't start as professionals, but we can all become pros through practice and knowledge. In today's video, we'll discuss the newly released Universal Audio's plugin emulation of Capital Studios Mastering Compressor. In the realm of recording studios, Capital Studios has always been recognized as one of the greats. Renowned for its classic recordings and exceptional mastering services, Capital boosts four dedicated mastering rooms where countless hits and classics have been perfected. With their access to top of the line gear, it was only natural for Capital to develop their own compressor. Thus, the CM5511 compressor was born. In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating details of this in-house designed compressor and explore its digital counterpart, the Capital Mastering Compressor plugin, which is created by none other than Universal Audio. The CM5511 compressor was meticulously crafted by Capital's team, drawing inspiration from renowned compressors like the Fairchild 670 and Gates STA Level Tube Compressor. With input from mastering engineers, the compressor's design was fine-tuned to meet the highest standards. Each of the four mastering rooms at Capital received a custom-made unit resulting in a consistent and unified mastering experience across all the rooms. The CM5511 featured hand-picked components including vintage molar tubes, John Hardy Opt amps and custom sign mag transformers. Universal Audio has the privilege of accessing two of these exceptional compressors, allowing them to create a faithful plug-in emulation. Universal Audio meticulously modeled the response and sound of the CM5511 compressors to bring the Capital Mastering Compressor plugin to life. The beauty of this plugin lies in its compatibility. It doesn't require any universal audio hardware and can seamlessly integrate with any audio interface and DAW. Let's dive into the plugin's features and enhancements. The Capital Mastering Compressor plugin faithfully replicates the vintage hardware compressor's aesthetics featuring bake-like knobs and VU meters offering both DBFS, which is a unit of measurement used in digital audio systems, and LUFS metering, allowing us to measure the loudness of an audio signal using loudness units relative to full scale. While the controls are simple, they offer everything you need to achieve outstanding masters or enhance individual tracks. Before we dive into the details of the controls, let's take a look at the signal flow. The diagram depicted here shows the signals that are processed in the compressor. The stepped input control allows precise signal level adjustments in increments of 2.5 dB. Let's listen to what the input control does to the signal. Sidechain SC switch filter of the Capital Mastering Compressor plugin reduces the amount of bass signal before the compressor's detector. This filter has three positions off, one which affects 365 hertz, and two which affects 700 hertz. Universal Audio modeled these filter options from two different CM5511 hardware units. By reducing compression and pumping on, Bass heavy audio signals, the SC filter preserves the bass content of the audio signal. Let's listen to the signal and try using the SC filter to select different frequencies.
threshold control sets the compression threshold. It operates in approximately 1 dB steps. Lowering the threshold by rotating it clockwise increases the compression. Signals that fall below the threshold are not compressed. It is important to note that a parallel high ratio fixed threshold limiter is applied to very loud signals to prevent excessive clipping in the output amplifier. However, there are no user controls for this portion of the circuit. Attack and release controls provide flexibility in shaping the compression's timing. Available values are slow, MS which stands for medium slow, medium, MF which stands for medium fast, and fast. The ratio control governs the compression ratio. Let's discuss this in more detail. A 2 to 1 ratio, for instance, reduces the signal above the threshold by 2 times, meaning that an input signal of 20 dB will be attenuated to 10 dB. Higher ratios will result in more compression. Users can click the plus or minus text labels to step through the ratio values. The original hardware does not include this control, but Universal Audio modeled the 3 to 1 and 4 to 1 ratios from two different CM5511 hardware units. Five ratio settings are available, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 6 to 1, and 10 to 1. It is essential to note that signals must exceed the threshold value before they are attenuated by the ratio amount. The output control is responsible for compensating the gain added by the compressor. It has 24 positions and reduces the output level by approximately 0.5 dB per step with modeled gain settings from the original hardware. However, this control only reduces gain and cannot increase output gain. For that, you should use the gain knob instead. You've been seeing it all along, but just in case there's any doubt, in order to set a compressor's control to a specific value, simply click on the text label corresponding to that value. To reset a control to its default value, hold the option button and click the label on a Mac or the Alt button and click the label on Windows. For more precise adjustments, shift click the control. The plugin offers the option to link or use channels separately, granting users the freedom to optimize their workflow. Each channel includes a side chain filter which reduces sensitivity to base frequencies. Furthermore, the Capital Mastering Compressor plugin supports both mid side and stereo operation, enabling users to compress the middle signal separately from the left and right or process the entire left right signal. The side chain feature can be set to work in dual mono or linked mode, expanding the creative possibilities. The control link or CTRL link switch allows users to link or unlink channel controls. The switch is surrounded by an orange LED that illuminates when the controls are linked. When switching from unlinked to linked controls, the left mid channel settings are applied to both channels. Note that when the plugin is used on a mono track, the controls are always linked. The plugin includes several innovative features not found in the original hardware compressors. The mix control enables parallel compression, allowing users to blend the dry and compressed signals to preserve attack and articulation while achieving the desired level of compression. The headroom control determines the compression depth, effectively managing the available dynamic range. Users can adjust the headroom control from 4 to 28 dB in increments of 4 dB. The default setting is 16 dB. It is important to note that increasing the dB value will decrease headroom and increase compression, while decreasing the dB value will increase headroom and decrease compression. The monofold control is particularly intriguing. It enhances low frequencies, providing greater punch and impact while keeping the mid and higher frequencies open. This is essentially the stereo width of low band frequencies. Users can adjust the monofold frequency cutoff to their liking. The gain control acts as a makeup gain, allowing users to compensate for heavy compression or boost the output levels for a louder sound. Gain provides 12 dB of gain compensation in 1 dB steps. Lastly, the saturator circuit adds harmonic content, offering brightness, richness, and even a touch of grit when pushed to the extreme. 
So now that you have all the details of what the control can do, let's listen to how these controls affect the audio signal. But before we do that, if you're getting any kind of value from this video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you wish to see more videos like this. Don't forget to click on the notification button so you'll be alerted each time that I post a new video. I've got many more plugins to cover in the future, so you'll definitely want to see those. To help you focus on the experience of what the mastering compressor can do, I'll display some captions as I make adjustments instead of talking over the music. This way, you'll know exactly what I'm changing and can concentrate on what you hear in the audio signal instead of what I'm saying. Let's dive in and take a closer look at the mastering compressor.
The plugin includes additional features not present in the original hardware, such as capturing the circuit design differences between the two CM5511 units. Experience the warmth and two bass magic of the Capital Mastering Compressor beyond just the master bus. Add it to your drum bus, your synths, background vocals, and more to achieve unparalleled dynamics control. This hit proven hardware is one of a kind addition to any producer or engineer's toolkit. Universal Audio's plugin management system provides efficient preset management. Users can filter presets by type, making it effortless to browse through options such as saturated masters, drum bus settings, or limiters. Alternatively, users can explore all the presets without any filters and mark their favorites for quick access. The Capital Mastering Compressor plugin excels in versatility, delivering exceptional results for various styles and applications, from smooth and polished masters to gritty and edgy productions. The Capital Mastering Compressor plugin from Universal Audio is a powerful and versatile tool for both mastering and individual track processing, offering exceptional sound quality and faithful emulation of the legendary CM5511 compressors. This plugin is a valuable addition to any producer or engineer's toolkit. With its intuitive interface, flexible controls, and innovative features, the Capital Mastering Compressor plugin empowers users to create professional sounding masters and take their productions to new heights.